Hey guys, it's PG Tech. Today we're going to be building a white gaming PC for one of my friends. So for the CPU, we're using the Intel 12900K and the motherboard is the Asus Prime AZ690. This motherboard actually doesn't have onboard Wi-Fi, so if I were to do this build again, I would not have chosen this one, but we ended up sorting that out later. Here I am installing the Corsair Dominator DDR5s into the respective slots and then slotting in the 1TB SSD into here as well. Make sure you don't forget to peel off the thermal pad covers for the top and bottom because there are two for this case. Now I'm getting the case ready. This is my favorite case ever, the O11 Dynamic Mini Snow Edition. This is an all white case and I just love using this, but I also always forget to put on the motherboard tray extender. So make sure if you're using an ATX size motherboard like I am that you install that before doing anything else. After installing everything into the case, it's time to get the AIO and fans ready. So here I am getting the Lanley SL140s ready to install onto the Kraken Z63 AIO because I just like the look of these fans a lot more than the ones that it comes with. And these are so easy to put together. I love how they just click into place and you don't have to do too much cable management due to the modularity of the fans. Another thing I almost always forget is putting on the cooler bracket onto the motherboard, so make sure you do that. Luckily, nowadays most cases have like a gap in the back for you to do that after if you forget before you install the motherboard. Here I am installing the radiator onto the side of the case. I just think it looks better this way and we didn't buy a 360 for the top, so we have the tubes mounted um, on the top of the radiator just because with the GPU it wouldn't be able to fit on the bottom. Since this AIO does have a display, there are a ton of cables that come with it. There's a USB cable and then a couple cables to control the fans and the RGB. Since we do have a bunch of USB devices, I did end up purchasing a USB hub, which isn't shown here, but I needed it for the Wi-Fi card. Now I'm removing the SSD tray so we can do some cable management just to route some of those AIO cables through the back. So you can connect each of the fans directly to that daisy chain that's provided on the AIO and then there's also an RGB cable and a pump cable that you can choose to plug into either CPU fan or AIO pump. Now I'm just installing three SL120s to intake air for the bottom of the PC and then it'll exhaust through the AIO. And now we're setting up our my favorite white cable extensions. These are the Antec uh, PSU cable extensions from Amazon. I just love how they make the entire build look so much cleaner because the cables are a lot thicker. This does mean that cable management is a bit of a pain because it's harder to kind of like fold them up and zip tie them in the back, but it just looks so clean. And I think it's the best option beside RGB cables. For the GPU, my friend really wanted the white ASUS Strix 3080. So here I am unboxing it. It actually comes with a ring, which is kind of random, but that's kind of cool, I guess. This is the prettiest GPU I've literally ever seen in my entire life. I love how it looks. I love that it's all white and then it has RGBs on it as well. This is just perfect for this all white build. This case has like a cover that you have to remove before you can access the GPU slots. This is a triple slot card, so I'm unscrewing three of the covers before I can slot everything in. And then we're putting in the power supply cables for the GPU. And then make sure you take off the PCIe cover and open up that slot before you slot everything in. This is done a lot easier with the case lying down, but for the video, I have it standing up so you guys can see, kinda. <laughs> now I'm back at home installing the Wi-Fi card. My friend does not have ethernet that can reach his room, so he needed Wi-Fi. And I had never installed one of these before, but it's actually pretty easy. There's just one cable, it connects via USB, and then you just plug it in directly under your GPU and you're good to go. Now it's time to install the power supply. I start out by removing this hard drive cage because my friend isn't gonna be using any hard drives and I'll need the space for cable management. So that goes out and then we're installing the Lanley small form factor PSU. This case actually can't take a full size PSU so you have to get a small form factor one. But if you like the look, the O11 mini air actually can take an ATX power supply. Not gonna lie, I've built so many PCs, but this part always stresses me out. Like, I'm always scared to turn it on for the first time because you never know what could go wrong. Luckily this time she turned on just fine. Nothing was wrong, everything looks normal. So now all we have to do is install Windows and some lighting control software so my friend can play all the TFT he wants. And here is the finished build. I'm so happy with how this came out. My friend didn't remove any of the protectors from the panels because he will be moving around a lot, but 
here she is. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comments what else I should build and subscribe for more aesthetic PC builds.